Again, we read first regularly, then with a the melody, then talk a little bit about the grammar. So, Vaidaber Adonai El Moshe Lemor Naso et Rosh Bene Gereshon Gamhem Levait Avotam Lemish Pechotam. And now with a melody. Vaidaber Adonai El Moshe Lemor Naso et Rosh. בני גרשון גם הם לבית אבותם למשפחותם. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about a few grammatical issues. Let's start with uh, a basic one. So we have אל, very common, a preposition meaning to. Here marking the indirect object, Moshe, as opposed to the word et, which marks the direct object. So the Lord spoke to Moses, okay? So there is the thing which is spoken by the Lord, and the addressee of that, that's the difference between the direct object and the indirect. Many verbs that are of speaking are they take two types of objects, a direct object, which is the words that are said here, starting in, in verse 22, and the person to whom they are said, and that is Moses. So we have two objects. There is the direct object, which is what God said to Moses, and there is the indirect object, okay? which is to whom these words were said. Now, here the verb naso is, second point here, infinitive, absolute, serving as a general command. Literally, the root nun, sin, and aleph has to do with lifting up. In the context, uh, especially of the book of Numbers, it means to take account. When you have it with rosh, Naso et rosh, lift the head. Again, when you want to make someone feel important, you count them. If you don't count someone, you don't count on someone, you don't make them feel important. And God instructs Moses to count the, to take into account the people of Israel, to take into account the, the sons of Gershom, okay, to make them important. So lift them. Lift their heads, okay? Don't let your sink chin, uh, your chin sink, but rather lift it up, okay? Lift your heads high. Held your, hold your heads high, okay? Naso, and then et is the definite direct object, as we said, marking the direct object. Rosh bene gershon, gam hem, gam, also. In addition, in addition usually to something mentioned earlier, in this case, at the beginning of the chapter, uh, Moses was instructed to count the children of Kehat, the Kehatites. And here he is ordered to count the Gershonites, the sons of Gershon. Levait uh, avotam, lemishpechotam. Let's do the third point. Avotam, mishpechotam. Okay. Uh, and related to him, in a sense, uh, this is the third person, masculine, plural, endings. Their fathers, their families. Related to the third person, masculine, plural, independent pronoun, him. Note the similarity of the mem at the end, related to the third masculine, plural, pronominal suffix, 